All right, this is just going to be a quick follow-up to my previous video on uh, what I believe is a bad uh, Life Pro 4 or Life Po 4 battery, rather. Uh, this particular battery came out of the uh, Super Turbo Chrome 1200 watt lithium version scooter, and we've had problems with it from day one. Uh, it initially charged up. I checked the voltage uh, with my multimeter uh, after we got the bike, and it was only charging up to 39.9 volts in the bike. And uh, I could take the battery out of the bike and charge it as you see it here now with this external charger. Uh, and I could get about 40.3 volts out of the, the battery. Um, and now it's just cycling, which that, that you know, that's normal. It's just balancing the cells, yeah. But these things are weird anyway. Let me tell you, this is not like any lithium battery I've ever dealt with. It doesn't have a charging port or the balancing port to hook up, you know, to externally balance all the cells or whatever, to monitor the cells to balance the cells externally. I'm a, this thing sounds like the last few inches of this thing like maybe this much of this thing is hollow and you get back here and it gets more solid well, I'm imagining this where all the cells are and there's probably a, a built-in BMS in here that manages the cells and sees that they're balanced properly I guess what I understand some of these batteries you know you'll get them and you'll get a bad cell or two in them or the way they're stacked, uh, maybe say one battery on the end here gets 3.8, so it tells the charger, I'm charged, shut off, but the cells behind it haven't completed charging yet. So then I guess that's where the, the BMS would come in to try to balance the, rest, balance the cells out, and then that's why it would come on and off occasionally. Uh, but now we've gotten to the point where the battery will not charge up past 36.6 volts. Like if I unplug it right now and check the voltage, it's going to say 36.6 or so. And it's just going to keep coming on and trying to balance that. And that's 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 not a good load. All right, that's not a good charge at all. It's not. That's it's a bad battery. So <laughs> I'm going to send it back on Monday. Probably send back the charger with it too and have them test both of them, you know, to make sure one isn't, maybe the charger's not doing its job right, or maybe it's just the battery, whatever. They can send me back the charger. Anyway, I'll update after the battery replacement. Hopefully that goes smooth. They've, this company's kind of been giving, this this dealer's been kind of giving me a little bit of a runaround about it, you know. I, I'm telling them I, uh, something wrong with this battery. We're not getting good speed out of this bike, We're not getting good range. My kids had to push it home three times now, so, you know, he's only gotten to drive it about three miles where it dies, and now it just dies. I don't even think it's drivable now at 36.6 volts. It's just, I wouldn't even have him, I wouldn't even put it in the bike and have him drive it now. That's just not going to do it. Same as full at 36.6 <laughs> when it, when it should be, it should be. Up around 42 volts that's safe for this battery even with the lower voltage per cell 42 I mean start off with a battery that's not even optimal uh, they gave me a hard time in the beginning oh oh it reads 39 volts it's it's a perfectly good battery uh, yeah if it'll hold 39 volts because it starts self -dis discharging yesterday I got up 39 volts, and then I would check the voltage periodically, and it just kept going down and down and down. Over the course of the day, it lost over 5% of the charge. So, it's definitely a bad battery. So, if anybody else has got this bike or thinking about buying this bike, you may end up having problems with the battery just like I'm having. It's probably been sitting in a warehouse forever. You know, these things are not cheap. Uh, finally somebody comes along and buys it but the freaking battery was manufactured five years ago or something who knows anyway I hope the swap out works out because my kid's pretty disappointed